All right, folks, it's me. It's Des Catties. I'm out in the shed today. All right, folks, how's it going? It's Des Catties. I'm out in the shed. So with that in mind, what I'm going to do in this video, um, because I'm obviously not out in the woods, I'm going to do a little video on my um, Helicon Text Pack. Now, I've had that for quite a while. You've seen me using it. Um, it's packed quite heavy, I think, for what's in there. But I'm fine with it. I can carry that. You know, I'm not. You know, I'm not going to be blowing up my backside. Um, but it's fine for me. I like the side pockets, the front pockets, and everything else. I think what would be nice on it if the pack was just slightly bigger literage, maybe. But that's just a personal choice. Mine and Mac Tart was because we've had this discussion before about it. Um, so anyway. So let's have a look at the pack, right? So now, obviously, you know, you might have seen in other videos, you might have, you've seen me show this before, got the side pot, you've got the side pockets and then the front one. Tend, normally what I tend to do in the front one here is keep my sort of, my brew stuff, if you like. And um, so if we just take it out and I'll show you what's in now. Now, Barney is doing uh, a course very soon with Joe O'Leary and he gave us a little um, premiere if you like of, of the kit that he's taking with him on this on a particular uh, course that he's going on and um, you know I've always been one for one of these orange sort of cups but recently I spotted Barney using one of these and this is the Yuko one how nice is that all the nice colors i mean obviously it comes in all the different colors doesn't it but i like it in a bit of orange folds down you know it's quite a nice shape it's a little bit more volume maybe than that other one as well but i don't really care it's just a nice little cup and i like the color all right and i must have bit a bit of wee come out when i saw it all right anyway so i've got that um i keep a bottle of water in now i've been using for a little while on and off i've been using one of these little pilot bottles handy just for either having a sip myself it almost looks like a mini hip flask doesn't it or oh, i can use it for water out of the brew kit um made myself up a little mesh pouch um that all that holds in here is my stove or my burner which is obviously available on the Etsy shop if you want to buy one um i've got my old flexi stove which um i, I, I pit it appears that from some of your comments that people are buying these i don't know if it's they're buying them because i'm using it or what but i'm not affiliated with them or anything else but i absolutely love this stove and then finally what i've got in there i changed it up i've got a this was like one of those uh like a protein shake bottle and i was using one of these all right but slightly smaller but i thought up the game and just bring out some more fluid i mean i've got sig bottles and everything else but obviously just to consolidate it into this little mesh bag with all the other bits i thought was fine what i've done there is i've actually wrapped it in some of this um plastic and silver it's a bit like the old popping stuff when you buy parcels um, but I've basically just wrapped some of that in, put put a bit of um, uh, uh, sort of earthing tape around it just to keep it maybe a little bit more insulated during the winter months. Who knows? I don't really know, but um, we'll see either way. But that all fits nice in now. Again, just a little bag that I've knocked up myself from some old mesh material that I had. And then in the top there goes my, uh, goes my stove. All right, so I'll stick that down now, out of the way. Um, brew kit, all right, this is one of Mr. Fry's pouches. Okay, mesh, okay, it's got all my coffee sachets, herbal sachets and stuff like that in now. Check that on the floor down now. That's the lid to the Pathfinder cup, okay, and then that's the, uh, obviously, the uh, fish opener that goes on top there to act as a handle. All right. Floor, and then that's empty all right so and then there's the brew cup as well all right and if i turn it around one side here all oh, everything's going on the floor now it's all going peak top you know folks there's nothing far and unusual you know you can watch a million of other videos and they're all going to be everyone's carrying the similar sort of stuff it's just that everyone puts their own little edge on it in it so i've got my wildlife hatchet um which obviously i always take out with me um in this particular pouch on the side there is pegs, um, some all my jungle toggles and tie out lines and guy lines and all that sort of stuff in that little mess pouch there. 
And then finally what I've got in now is my hammock, my sit hammock, all right, which I've started to use a bit more than usual. Some people have been asking about them. They, that was from UK hammocks, but I don't think they're actually going anymore. I think they're actually, they've packed up, so you'll have to obviously do your go use your Google food skills and have a look elsewhere. If I turn it round, okay, in there then I've obviously got a carabiner with a roll of um, duct tape on now. That's a bit of a Dave Canterbury thing. And then uh, obviously I've got a bottle of water. All right, stick that on the floor. And the, my saw in there as well, because there's a little bit of space there for, to put a saw in. That's just a, a, a silky boy, the gone boy. It's the one with the orange or yellowish type handle. Okay. And then finally I've got the Pathfinder cup which I've had forever in a day and I like using it. Between that and the um, bot, you know, I've got the bot as well which is up here um, with, my Nalgene, with the metal Nalgene. I like using that as well and they fit quite nicely in the... Um, everything's going on the floor now. If, uh, they fit nicely in that um, flexi stove. Some people use tokes or whatever. It's totally up to you as an individual. In the top part of the lid there, I've got just, I think I've actually got in there a uh, tie out line, which is basically just the, uh, you know, the um, rapid ridge line. Okay, my little birch bark container with some herbal um, tea bags in there. And then finally what I've got obviously is a whistle. I've got a whistle in my jacket, but I also keep one in, my, in all my rucksacks. And in there is just a little mesh bag all right, and in that mesh bag, I normally just put my keys and stuff like that, and it's attached inside the lid of the sack there. So uh, obviously I can't lose anything. And then finally, I didn't even realise that was in there. This was an old um, sort of pot hanger that I've got. All right. All right, so I've got one of my badges on the front now. I don't sell them on the Etsy shop anymore. If people want them, then they'll have to come to me and just ask for one. All right normal sort of drawer type towels that you get on most of these rucksacks um so yeah sheltering wise i've been taking out of that dutch poncho really liking that all right um little shoulder bag that i take out with me as well which is very handy wraps up nice and small don't get me wrong i've got dave fryer's ones as well and i love dave's stuff but that the particular bags that are there are a little bit bigger so this one sort of fits the uh fits the bill for me okay in here i've got my um this is one of dave's mesh pouches and in now i've got my um the modified um gore-tex bivy bag all right a mat always got to have a mat haven't you my frying pan my plate my little tongs, little frying pan, a um, little spatula and oil are all in there. My little tool roll, always handy, handy, gandy. It'll have the old tool roll in there and it with all the relevant tools. So if you want to do a bit of carving and stuff like that. Um, now on my Etsy shop, I actually sell a little leather pouch that comes with, which I normally have one knocking around here, but I can't find it now because obviously my shed's a bit untidy. And it comes with two or three bin liners in there. And then, um, obviously what I've got as well, I've got this old sort of, um, this is an out kit bag that I'm using as a rubbish bag or a gash bag, whatever you want to call it. Or if you're over the, across the pond, it's uh, trash. You call it a trash. It's trash, isn't it? But anyway, rations, you know, rations, you know, blah, rations, rations, rations here. I mean, in there I've got some steak detective um, jerky and some noodles and oat cakes and oat biscuits and all that sort of stuff. All the high energy stuff just to keep you going for a day. I'll get away with an overnighter with this, if I'm honest. But, uh, you know, each their own. All right, in now, uh, I can't remember what's in there. Oh, I know what's in there. That's, um, that's for, your, for your bum. I've got wipes and, and tissues and all that sort of stuff in there. But if I need to take the number two, and also they're quite handy just to use for, um, you know, if you want to wipe your hands and stuff like that, if you're someone that doesn't like getting your hands too dirty doing the game that we play. All right, in there's a load of cordage of salts. All right. You've got to understand, folks, that some of this stuff is props as well, but obviously it's stuff that I use that's practical. There is, you've obviously, you, you will have all seen this. This is like my possible's pouch with all my uh, different bits and pieces that are in now. All right. 
a wind cheater that's the helicon tex one this is the pendicott one pencott camo whatever they call it i've got a, a black one that i've had since um since i purchased back before the lockdown and um i wear it all the time when i'm out running especially during the colder months and um brilliant bit of kit the sleeves are starting to get the cuffs are going on it and have big style but um that gets smashed that gets worn a lot um and it's been quite a good little top um in the back he actually got a bit in the back there i don't actually i sometimes it depends how my mood is whether or not i use this to put my pegs in and all that sort of stuff you've also got the other little bags the, the little sort of compartments if you like that's my uh, throw down grill by tjm that works and then finally what i've got in there as well because I, like, I mean i like my grub so i've got a meatballs and pasta oh actually i've got two meatballs and pasta by the old state detective and again you know they just they're flat pack away and I think, oh i've got a third one i didn't realize oh i'm a fat bugger and i and i've got the brighty breakfast which i love this is my favorite one um and that is it um on the actual outside as well what i've got there is like a little toggle with a bit of paracord on it and um, normally what i do there is i because obviously doing youtube videos and things like that normally what i do i put all my batteries and stuff like that and if i can't fit it in the top there what i will do is i'll clip it onto this double end carabiner that goes in there and then that slots onto there and then that's job done and then sometimes what i do on there as well i normally put my grail if i take the grail out if i've got the grail water bottle then normally what i do is i'll clip it on there and, and put it on there and so on and so forth right it's so not a hard and fast video i just wanted to stick something up just for um just to keep the sort of videos out in a, in a you know in a fluent way of, of sorts all right but um just a quick update in two weeks time i've got my first ultra i'm doing a 50k ultra which is around 31 miles um so i've been training for that that's why i've been a bit slack this weekend with actually going out i've just been training running and stuff like that today's a rest day i must admit i need it um i've accumulated to about 50 miles in the last few days and um, i really just want to sort of rest my body i even went to the gym last night after work um and i've got to admit i'm feeling it a bit this morning and yeah i could suck it up and go back out and do it again but i thought no i'm having a rest day because next week's going to be a proper slack week before the actual run so um might stick a video out for that i might not i don't really know if i'm honest all right so thanks for watching folks please like subscribe and hit the notification bell share the videos with your worst enemies and all that sort of stuff and i'll see you on the next one folks take care